The universe. Billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars. We came to understand that despite its vast scale, the universe keeps expanding. The biggest surprise though was when we realized that the rate of this cosmic expansion seems to be increasing. Ever since, scientists all over the world have been trying to understand what causes the universe to grow faster and faster. So far, with little success. All we know is that there seems to be some kind of dark energy powering that effect. In this film, we are going to show scientists aiming to shed some light on that great mystery. The Center for Theoretical Physics of the Polish Academy of Sciences is a place where research on the cosmic expansion rate is being approached in an innovative way. The problem that scientists all over the world are trying to solve is measuring the so-called Hubble constant. It is a parameter that describes the rate at which the universe expands. Different attempts to determine its precise value, however, have led to a major discrepancy. Accelerated expansion of the universe was discovered over 20 years ago, but at the beginning we thought that just introducing a cosmological constant will solve the problem and the cosmological constant is just a classical concept introduced by Albert Einstein. If the universe is described by classical model including cosmological constant, wherever we measure, the result should be the same. However, recently one of the most important cosmological constant was measured in different places. This is this Hubble constant which describes the expansion rate of the universe and its measurement from supernovae and independent measurement from a cosmic microwave background gave different results. The difference is only by 10%, so you may think it's not a big problem. However, the claimed accuracy of measurements is small as 1%. Either we need a new theory of gravity instead of Einstein's general relativity, or we need vacuum energy, and then this vacuum energy should depend on time. Scientists from the Center for Theoretical Physics are developing an entirely new way to determine the rate of the cosmic expansion. It is based on quasars, the most distant objects in the known universe. That could provide important new data to solve the Hubble constant discrepancy. Because those claimed measurements seem to be accurate, but there is always a danger of systematic errors, then introducing new objects is important and we can use quasars as those new objects to measure the expansion rate of the universe. Quasars were discovered over 50 years ago. It is just an active nucleus of a galaxy. In the nucleus of a galaxy resides a supermassive black hole and the mass is of order of million or even a few billions of solar masses. The advantage of having quasars is that we can observe them relatively nearby as well, but up to very large cosmological distances. On the other hand, using them to determine the distance is not simple, because we need a special method to do that. And here comes observational aspect of quasars. Those are strong emission lines seen in their spectra. Ten years ago, we proposed explanation how those lines uh, form. Everybody knew that we have the central supermassive black hole, an accretion disk around this black hole, but then we realized that from the surface of this accretion disk, we can have very, very strong winds if the temperature in the disk is low enough, like 1500 kelvins, and then the dust can form in the disk atmosphere. And this material irradiated leads to formation of lines.
So we still need a distance from the black hole to this broad line region. And that can be determined from quasar variability. Fortunately, all quasars are strongly variable. Radiation which is liberated close to the black hole varies and this variable irradiation is reprocessed by the clouds. And if we measure the time delay of the cloud answer, we measure the distance between the black hole and the broad line region. We know the temperature, we know the size of the region, and then we can calculate the absolute luminosity of the source. And if we know the absolute luminosity of the source, and then we can measure the observed luminosity of the source, we can determine the distance. Quasars could open new possibilities in measuring cosmic distances. That is why the Center for Theoretical Physics has become a part of a larger project focused on solving the problem of dark energy and the cosmic expansion rate. Chile is known as the best place for astronomical observations. The Atacama Desert offers unique conditions to gaze at the night sky. It is the reason why Chile was chosen as the place for a new project that can change what we know about cosmic expansion. Universe Scale aims to improve the calibration of the Cosmic Distance Scale. It has won a European Research Council Synergy Grant, designed for the most ambitious and complex research initiatives that require people from different fields of science and technology to collaborate. Universe Scale will measure cosmic distances with an unprecedented precision, using several different methods. In order to do that, new instruments will be constructed in an observatory in Chile right next to ESO's extremely large telescope. All of this in order to solve the mysteries surrounding the cosmic expansion rate. This discrepancy shows us that we don't understand the uh, universe sufficiently well. Modern physics is not able to explain uh, the observations, so we need to improve it. One way to get rid of the discrepancy would be to understand better physical nature of the dark energy. We need to measure the Hubble constant with very good precision to understand our universe much better. The main goal of the Universe Scale project is to measure distances uh, to very different objects, starting from the solar neighborhood out to very distant quasars. And we would like to improve several uh, methods which astronomers use for distance determinations, apply them and determine the famous Hubble constant with a precision close to 1%. Big avalanche of data will be available from satellites and uh, big surveys. And in order to use them for distance determinations, we need to complement them with spectroscopic and uh, photometric data. In order to be able to do that, we need uh, new dedicated telescopes. And this is why we established an uh, astrophysical observatory in northern Chile to collect this data. In order to measure the Hubble constant using the classical approach, we need several different techniques because it's not possible to measure distances to all objects in the universe. We need to start with geometrical techniques, which can be applied to nearby objects. Then we can use them to calibrate other techniques, which can serve us to reach uh, galaxies located much farther away. And then finally, we can calibrate uh, long range distance indicators like supernova. Altogether, we can measure distances at different locations and uh, measure the expansion of the universe, or the value of the Hubble constant. What the Universe Scale project aims to discover might revolutionize our understanding of the nature of the universe. Most importantly, measuring the rate of the cosmic expansion at different distances may shed more light on the enigmatic dark energy. If we really understand the evolution of the dark energy, we can tell more about the future of the universe. If only the cosmological constant works, then the accelerated expansion will continue forever. On the other hand, if, if it is something else, then maybe there is a minimum value. We really don't know. This is an open question. The Universe Scale project is a collaboration of scientists from several different institutions, the Center for Theoretical Physics and the Nicolaus Copernicus Astronomical Center from Poland, as well as the University of Concepcion in Chile and Paris Observatory in France. It will provide new quality in measuring cosmic distances, 
giving the scientists a new, precise tool for studying fundamental mysteries of the universe. The research in the cosmic expansion and dark energy could result in a major breakthrough in our understanding of the origin and the evolution of the universe that would have a deep impact not only on modern physics, but also on our society and culture. <laughs>